Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Considering the geography of India, the armed forces have diverse problems and challenges to handle. Indian Army is perhaps the only army in the world which is permanently deployed on the world's highest inaccessible and hostile battlefield such as Siachen and Ladakh. At the altitude greater than 5500 meters, and temperature falling below minus 30 degrees Celsius, it becomes challenging to supply the essential goods and arms and ammunition to our armed forces. The logistics becomes more risky and time consuming in these areas. China has revealed its AR-500C helicopter drone in mid-2020. It is also called RUAV or rotatory UAV. This drone is capable of taking off from an elevation of 5,000 meters. The helicopter drone has a flight ceiling of 6,700 meters, endurance of 5 hours and can attain a maximum speed of 170 kilometers per hour. It can carry maximum takeoff of 500 kilograms. These types of drone provide logistical edge to PLA Army compared to Indian Army. Therefore, it becomes extremely important for India to develop similar type of helicopter drones to support Indian Army's high altitude military logistics and provide last mile connectivity to our armed forces deployed in Siachen and Ladakh. This can also be used by Indian Navy to be operated from deck for tactical surveillance. Back in January 2021, Indian Navy has opened a bid for 10 such ship-borne drones. Indian government has cleared around 13,000 crore rupees for this procurement. Now, HAL has come forward with a concept of RUAV in Aero India 2021 to provide the next generation military logistical support in high altitudes. These are also sometimes called mule drones. RUAV 200 is an autonomous unmanned helicopter for deployment in hostile and otherwise inaccessible conditions at high altitudes. The RUAV is a coaxial rotor helicopter designed to perform various operations such as intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operation. It can also aid in the operation of tanks, infantry vehicles, and artilleries. The RUAV will feature lightweight composite structure with fault-tolerant automatic flight control system. The cargo bay is designed to carry a wide variety of stores and supplies. It will have a surveillance payload in the forward underbelly which is a day or night camera. The camera is primarily used to help crew to guide the drone through mountainous regions. Additionally, the camera can also be used for surveillance and reconnaissance. The RUAV follows a model design which makes its assembly and transportation very easy. It has been designed for high operational availability and less maintainability. Various automatic features such as automatic landing and takeoff of the RUAV makes its operation handling very easy. Talking about its specification, the RUAV will have service ceiling of 6000 meters and hovering ceiling of 5500 meters. It can carry a payload of up to 30 to 40 kg and maximum range of 100 kilometers. The 200 kg RUAV will be able to operate at a temperature ranging from minus 35 to plus 55 degrees Celsius. It will have a range over 100 kilometers and endurance of 3 hours. The RUAV will be capable of flying at top speed of 100 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 6 kilometers. The RUAV 200 will most likely be powered by a Wankel engine. A Wankel engine is a type of internal combustion engine using eccentric rotatory mechanism to convert pressure into rotating motion. Now, talking about its development update, HL has started the procuring of parts for RUAV rotors system. The rotor system consists of main rotor blades, main rotor head and upper control system and tail rotor system. The RUAV is under the final stage of assembly and after completing its final assembly, the system will undergo ground test and then it will be taken for flight testing. The flight test of RUAV was expected between end of 2021 and early 2022 which we have not witnessed. Considering the present progress, we might see RUAV in action by end of this year. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector